Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is ping one infection. Uh, but before starting this, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, uh, in that case, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And uh, the link is just below this video in the description area. So you can visit that link. Now I come to the topic, what is ping worm infection? Well, the ping worm infection is one of the most common types of the human intestinal worm infections. And the ping worms, uh, they are tiny, they are narrow worms, and they are white color, they are less than half an inch long. And uh, at the ping uh, worm infections are also known as uh, enterobiasis or uh, oxy ureasis so these are the alternative names for this uh, in, uh, infection and is the most common type of the worm infections in the humans uh, you know uh, the pink worm infections can spread easily uh, they are most common in children between the ages of 5 and 10 and the people who live in the institu institutions and those who have uh, like regular close contact with the individuals in these groups they are most likely to get this infection and uh, an effective treatment for the ping worm infection is uh, medication uh, through reinfection uh, is possible. And the serious complications and the long term health effects are, are rare. Now, the next thing is what are the um, uh, causes? Well, uh, ping worms infections are highly contagious. Uh, you become infected with ping worms by uh, like, uh, unintentionally ingesting. Uh, are uh, inhaling the ping worms eggs you know and uh, usually deposited by the by an infected person onto an object like the door knobs etc and uh, the cycle of the infection begins uh, uh, with the ingestion of these microscopic eggs and <coughs> excuse me once the microscopic eggs enter to your body they remain in the intestine until they hatch and they mature and as adults, uh, the female penguins move into the colon and exit the body through the anus. And the female penguins lay eggs in the folds of the skin around the anus. So the presence of these eggs often cause anal itching and irritation. Now, when a person scratches uh, affected areas, uh, the, uh, uh, those penguins, uh, uh, those eggs transfer. Uh, to the fingers and the eggs can survive for several hours on your hands and if the infected person touches bedding, clothing, toilet seats, toys or any other household objects the eggs transfer from the fingers to those objects and the pinworms eggs can survive on those contaminated surfaces for up to three weeks okay and the children transfer the uh, pinworms eggs easily because they may put uh, like infected toys or uh, other objects into their mouths. So the eggs can also transfer from contaminated fingers directly to food or maybe to the liquids. Okay. So it's also possible for adults to inhale the airborne eggs when shaking hands, bedding, towels and uh, uh, clothes which are contaminated. Now. The pinworms infections uh, affect the people of all ages and uh, all geographical regions. Uh, but they, you know, they are microscopic, so it's impossible to wide the infected individuals or uh, areas. Now, anyone can get, and uh, but there are certain groups they are at high risk, like children, or the family members of. Uh, or the caregivers of infected children or the adults and the person who live in the institutions like hostels or crowded accommodations and the children and adults who don't practice regular and careful hand hygiene and the children who have the habit of sucking their thumbs so they are most likely to get this uh, uh, pinworm infection the next thing is what are the symptoms of pinworm infections well some individuals uh, may not experience any symptoms and uh, but you may suspect that you or your child has a pain worm infection uh, in case when you uh, notice any frequent or the 
strong itching in the anal area, uh, restless sleep due to itching and discomfort in the anal area, pain or maybe rash or the skin irritation around the anus, uh, presence of pinworms in the area of your child's anus and the presence of pinworms in stool. So in that case, you can suspect that you have the pinworm infections. Uh, now the next process, uh, how to diagnose? Well, you know, your doctor can perform a tape test and which is the most reliable method for diagnosing the pinworm infection. So in this test, it consists of uh, taking a piece of uh, like a cellophane tape and pressing uh, uh, the sticky and the adhesive uh, uh, side of it against the skin around the anus. So since the pinworms often uh, exit the anus while uh, the infected person sleeps, so you should conduct the tape test upon uh, like waking in the morning, the first thing. And the eggs are present in case when there is infection and uh, take the tape to your doctor and uh, you can place it on a side, uh, like a slide, you know, and examine it under the microscope to see if uh, uh, the pinworms are, or the eggs are present there, you know. So this is a very reliable test. And uh, the routine morning activities such as bathing or using the toilet can remove the eggs from the skin. So the best idea is that it's done before the these activities. And, uh, you know, it's recommended that you can say test at least three times uh, on three consecutive mornings to increase your likelihood of finding the those pinworm eggs. Uh, and this is, as I said, this is a very reliable test. Now, once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? You know, you know doctor can usually uh, treat uh, effectively with oral medications. And uh, the pinworms pass so easily from one person to other person and so it's important that every person living in the household uh, needs treatment at the same time to prevent the reinfection and the caregivers and uh, uh, others who have close or the personal contact with the individuals uh, should also receive the treatment at the same time and the most common and effective medications to treat the pinworm include uh, mebendazole uh, Albenza uh, and uh, uh, pyranto, uh, pamoid. So these are the most commonly used medications. And uh, one course of the medication really involves an initial dose, and uh, which is followed by a second dose uh, two to three weeks later. And uh, more than one course may be necessary to fully con eliminate the uh, pinworm eggs. You know. And the creams or the ointments can soothe the itching uh, around the anus and other areas. You know. uh, other than medications, you know, a specific uh, regime of the hygiene and household cleaning can also help to completely eliminate the infection. Uh, like uh, ensure that the infected person and the other household members practice a good hygiene you know uh, encourage everyone uh, to shower and change their underwear uh, every morning uh, clean everyone's fingernails and cut them short uh, so this way you can uh, increase sorry decrease the risk of spreading from one person to other person thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you and goodbye.